I am Shushu. Okay, let's get going. The benevolent Liu Bei, who had up until this point no place to call his own, took up residence in Xinye. Meanwhile, after defeating Yuan Shao and conquering the Central Plains, Cao Cao resolves to launch a campaign to eliminate Liu Bei. He places Cao Ren in charge of a large army and orders him to set out first. Xu Xu, who had been in Xinye at the time, performed the remarkable feat of breaking Cao Ren's Eight Gates formation. After witnessing his brilliance firsthand, Liu Bei begged that he join him as his strategist. However, Xu Xu reluctantly declined the offer. He simply could not abandon his mother, who was currently bedridden in Xucheng. After recommending his fellow strategist, Zhuge Liang, Xu Xu resolved to leave the Obey side. Xu Xu, please wait. You're going to go after all? Yes. Cao Cao seems to have figured out my character. If I continue to stay with Master Liu Bei, my mother will be put into danger. I know. I understand that I am being naive. But I cannot ignore my feelings for my family and just become a strategist. Like this, I would be no use to you. Even if I did stay. You're wrong. Shu Shu, the love and care you have for your mother shows the same as what I desire. A world where no one needs to cry. Feeling for someone. Acting on behalf of someone. It's that very thing that made me want to fight by your side. Shu Shu, I want to hear it from you. Not the reason you must leave. I want to hear your true feelings. Zhuge Liang, I... I would like to fight by your side. I want to aid Master Liu Bei's path in any way that I possibly can. Truly, from my heart. Thank you... for letting me know. Master Liu Bei, I have an idea. We plan to lead the land into a world without sadness. Then, to start, let me offer a plan to first save my friend. Huh? Oh, Zhuge Liang. Well said. Please, let me hear this plan of yours. Hold a moment, Master Liu Bei. You must not spend your precious time on someone like me. No, Shu Shu. At Xinye, I was in danger and you aided me. Now, it is my turn to aid you. <sighs> I understand. Then I will depend 
upon Zhuge Liang's plan. Well then, let us begin our preparations. Here, do not leave this area without permission. Right, as you command. Um, mother? I have returned. No. I heard that you were sick in bed, but you appear to be in better condition than I thought. Your lack of filial piety has forced me out of my bed! You foolish child! How could you let that evil man force you to leave that virtuous Lord Liu Bei? That's not it. Please listen to me, mother. This is also a plan. And I don't want to gather too much attention. Plan? Yes. Zhuge Liang and Master Liu Bei are lending me their aid. You and I will escape from Xu Chong together. Lord Liu Bei? Hey, what's going on? Some bandits have appeared nearby. We need to go head them off. It looks like it started. Mother, I know I am rushing you, but you need to hurry and prepare. I see. All right. Mother, you are still looking pale. Please do not overexert yourself. Still, if we let this chance to join Liu Bei go, we may never get another. I've been waiting for. 
Now to let my strategy unfold. Yes. Hmm? I'm ready. Looks like the mission went well. Alright! Stop it already! I can't bear this any longer! I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. Troublemaker when I see one. That is our target. I'm ready. This isn't good.
fall back. I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. this something doesn't smell right what is it you're up to gotta deal with this before it gets out of hand they will need me in the fights to come sorry but that is all for today I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. Yes. Master Liu Bei, we meet once again. I can never repay you for all the trouble I caused you. Shu Shu, you're wrong. You are important to me, and I needed you to return. Lord Liu Bei, thank you very much. Thanks to you, my son has been able to remain with the Lord he should serve. Mother? Please do not say such things. The truth of it is that it is my fault that you both have been caught up in my troubles. Please, this way. Let me guide you to a place where you can rest. Zhuge Liang, thank you. Out of my own naivete, I was about to do something that I could never have recovered from. But are you sure this was okay? Even with what Master Liu Bei said, aren't there many more things you should be doing with your time? Of course there are. We don't know when Xin Ye will once again be targeted. We must quickly raise our strength. Even knowing that, I offered this plan to Lord Liu Bei, because as one who studied together with you, under the same master, I know your ability. Liang, understood. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can meet your expectations, but I promise to do everything in my power from now on. Shushu, 
Were you able to rest some? Yes. And I was introduced to a good doctor for my mother. I truly appreciate all of the help you've given us. I will repay you immediately, is what I'd like to say, but I do have to ask you something first. How will you guide Master Liu Bei from now on? It would be extremely difficult for Liu Bei to face Cao Cao alone. My plan is to join hands with another force with a strong foundation and split the land into three parts. That is what I told Lord Liu Bei. An alliance, huh? Yes. Cao Cao truly does have many enemies. We should be able to find someone to ally with. But what do you mean, three parts? Lord Liu Bei must find his own land to actually enter an alliance with someone against Cao Cao. Lord Liu Bei must be seen as an equal. I see. Even if we were able to stand against Cao Cao, it would be meaningless if we had to enter under some other force. That's why we need a land of our own before we defeat Cao Cao. Yes, I believe that this Jing province is the most suitable for Lord Liu Bei. For that reason, we need to maintain Xinye for as long as possible. As I thought. You are incredible. Though facing a strong opponent, you plan not only for overcoming the danger, but also for many steps beyond that. The most far-reaching strategies are merely pipe dreams if they are incapable of dealing with the problems right in front of them. I will first work on strengthening the troops of Xinye. Shushu. I would like you to focus on the defense of this land for the moment. Defense? Then I must take a look at this town first. I will listen to the many voices of the people and then start to plan. I cannot create such a grand scheme as Zhuge Liang. However, Master Liu Bei has told me that he needs me. At the very least, I will do everything that I can. I also must do whatever I can. First off, I shall make a visit to Xinye and gather information. Can you spare a moment for me? There's something I'd like to discuss. Master Shushu! Could I ask that you would lend me your ear? It's just that it can be difficult to speak with Master Zhuge Liang sometimes. In accordance with the plans we made the other day, we went and visited the village west of Shuchang. While there, we heard the sounds of some sort of large apparatus being constructed. Master Shushu, uh, I hate to trouble you, but we have a bit of a problem. There's a merchant who visits us regularly, always at the same time, but he hasn't been coming lately. If we're unable to procure wares, our businesses will dry up. Huh. 
I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Uh, excuse me? Could you listen to me for a moment? You really helped me so much! Please, take this as your reward. Oh. I need to broach a difficult subject. Will you lend me some of your strength? Thank you for your aid. Here is a reward for you. I need your help. Will you at least listen to me? Well done. I was right to ask you. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Get for you. Please come again. Oh, or I might. Oh, hello again. How are things with you? I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Legend has it that members of the Han Dynasty went into hiding here in Xingye. It is a nice, quiet place, perfect to hide away. I have something for you. Excellent. Okay.
It's me, the straw shoe and mat maker. The things I make are now so well received, to be honest, I'm both happy and annoyed. I still can't touch Lord Leo Bay, that's why. I know, I shouldn't get so fixated. There's another reason for good sales, too. Everyone wants to stick with Lord Leo Bay, even if it means all this running around. And the shoes and mats really help with that. Please, I need you to help me. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> <Be> interesting. <laughs> Your deeds have really helped me. Here is your reward. Please, accept it. There's something I... Of course. Understood.
When Xin Ye needs protection, you're just the best selection. There can be no objection. Master Shi Tao, I never thought I'd meet you here. What brings you to Xin Ye? Why, you ask? I came here to visit you. Serving under Lord Liu Bei has allowed me to come here, and I'm glad for it. By the way, there seems to be a lot of bustling about near Wen Castle. Could it be that a battle is about to start? No one could claim I like to Is that so? This information leads me to believe this is all merely one part of a larger picture. It is logical to conclude the enemy is making preparations for a large-scale plan. We need to figure out what is behind the Cao Cao army's actions. Let us send scouts to Yeshui Gate, which lies along the border between Xinye and Shuchang. So they mean to use large amounts of siege weapons to launch a southern campaign. Something needs to be done before they are used to start a war. That was close. When we got stopped by Cao Cao's army back there, I thought we were done for. Huh? You're asking me where it happened specifically? Um, well, according to this map, somewhere around here. It's our job to risk Lord Liu Bei's safety. Hmm. So the Cao Cao army means to use this area as a marching route, right? If we can take out their base along that path, we might be able to halt their defense. We must cut off the Cao Cao army's marching route, whatever it takes. Let us set up an ambush and take out their base in one fell swoop. An ambush? I underestimated our enemy! I failed to complete my duty. I hope the other units have better luck. I 
I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. Learn the importance of strategy. All right, nobody panic. That is exactly what the enemy wants. Curses. I couldn't stop them. All right. We have captured the Tsao Tsao Army's base. They shouldn't be able to use this path as a marching route any longer. It looks like we made it through that one. loud noises coming from over there. It would be nice if I could find some sort of clue or something. seems to be constructing siege weapons here, and the finished products are being sent to Yeshui Gate. We just have to tamper with the siege weapons to make sure they will burn easily. That ought to hamper their preparations at Yeshui Gate. weapons we tampered with have arrived. All we need to do now is launch our fire arrows. This isn't good. It seems we have been able to put a stop to South South Southern campaign, at least for the moment. It is probably about time we make a report to Zhuge Leon.
Hey, Shoo Shoo! I heard you squashed Sao Sao's plans before he had a chance to get started. For such a weak-looking bloke, you're all right. Sao Sao must reform his forces and will be unable to move for a time. This gives us time to build up Shinye. This is all a result of you being able to bring us victory. Ah, that is true. <sighs> Thank you very much, Master Guan Yu. Right now, Zhuge Liang is requesting troops from Master Liu Biao. If we can gather some more troops, our current weak position will become somewhat better. Ugh. That indecisive Liu Biao won't do anything, so we've been stuck with fighting Cao Cao. The least he could do is send us some troops to use. Zhang Fei. That's enough of that. Let's work on continuing to strengthen our troops. I'm glad. It looks like I was of some use to everyone. Still, is this truly something that only I can do? I truly hate this character of mine. I cannot just be glad when someone praises me. In accordance with Zhuge Liang's strategy, Xu Xu had agreed to serve Liu Bei. He had foreseen that the Cao Cao army would make moves to attempt a southern campaign, and had completely sabotaged all of their efforts to do so. Meanwhile, Zhuge Liang was recruiting troops in Xinye and building up military strength. However, they still lacked the military strength that would be necessary to face the massive army of Cao Cao. Zhuge Liang suggested that they ask Liu Biao to lend them his soldiers. Xu Xu and allies agreed to accompany Liu Bei, and together they head to Xiangyang in order to negotiate with Liu Biao. Oh, Master Liu Bei, word of Xinye quite frequently comes to our ears these days. They say you govern well, and have protected the town from attacks by Cao Cao. The people are extremely grateful to you. No, no. I'm well aware of how weak I currently am. That's why I'm here today, to beg Lord Liu Biao to lend me his aid. If you are looking for reinforcements, then I understand. The defense of Xinye is important to our own safety. I shall make arrangements at once. Please hold a moment, Lord Liu Biao. Right now, even our forces are not currently at full strength. You must not give in to Liu Bei's words. Hmm. Sai Mao, I know what you're saying, but still... Xinye is the gateway to Jing province. If Cao Cao is able to force his way through, Lord Liu Biao and his people will certainly be in danger. Ha! Huh. Aren't you acting all big and mighty? Both Xinye and the troops you have now were given to you by Lord Liu Biao, but not content with that. You have the gall to ask for reinforcements. Don't say things like that! Master Liu Bei has repeatedly driven off the large armies of Cao Cao. It is for that reason that Jing province is able to remain at peace. Still, my lord, Sun Xuan is still seeking vengeance on Master Huang Zhu for killing his father. He is currently sieging Xiaku Castle. We cannot neglect our preparations to deal with him. Then, Master Liu Bei, 
how about we deal with that? There is still some time before Cao Cao once again attacks. I see. You're right. I am still deeply in debt to Lord Liu Biao. If I can be of any aid there, I will do my very best. What's that? Master Liu Bei. I never expected such a thing. If you can drive off the forces of Sun Xuan, I can lend you all of the forces currently facing Wu. Sai Mao, you should have no problems with this, correct? Hmm. In that case, I can indeed say no more. Zhuge Liang, you provoked Master Tsai Mao just to get those conditions? Incredible. Still, it really appears that Master Tsai Mao really has it in for Lord Liu Bei. Why is that? Master Tsai Mao is the uncle of the wife of Master Liu Tsong, the second son of Master Liu Biao. On the other hand, Master Liu Bei is close to Master Liu Biao's first son, Master Liu Qi. That is why. Inheritance wars, huh? Has Lord Liu Biao not yet decided on a successor? Hmm. This might get ugly. Truly. At the least, we were able to negotiate for reinforcements. Now, let us head to Xiaku Castle to fulfill our part of the deal. The Sun Quan forces appear to be routed, and Master Huangzu was lured too far out in pursuit. They have fallen into a seriously dangerous situation! No time to rest. We must go to their aid immediately. Please, hold. Huh? What do you want? We just have to drive off Sun Quan and rescue Huangzu, right? Yes. But there is more. After you have saved Master Huang Zhu, you must secure a route to the enemy's main camp. Let us negotiate with him. You have a plan, I see. Then understood. Everyone, please follow Master Zhuge Liang's instructions. Zhuge Liang, don't tell me you intend to approach Sun Quan about an alliance. I do. Sun Quan has a firm foundation in Jiangdong, and he has already shown himself to be antagonistic to Cao Cao. He would be a worthy ally. In light of your land in three parts scheme, he would indeed. However, Sun Quan and Master Liu Biao are bitter enemies. It won't be that easy to get him to agree. The one who will ally themselves with Sun Quan is Lord Liu Bei, not Lord Liu Biao. If we can show our power here, it will be much easier to win that alliance. I see. I finally understand why you were willing to force our way into this particular battle. Okay, I will do my best. We shall make your plan work. We're at a stark disadvantage. We could... The inferior forces of the Liu Bei army are in low speeds. As such, we need to raise our morale and turn the tides of this battle. I'll let you 
go for now. Don't think you've won. I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. Too old to fight? Say that once you've defeated me. Must assist our allies. Follow me. Charge them. Just go out there and follow my lead. The duty of a strategist is to always remain one step ahead of the enemy. I've got to do this. It looks like it was a trap. Is this the end for me? simple task that was assigned to me. I'd never be able to lift down this shame. Thank you. I won't forget this. Enemy's momentum, and it cost me the battle. This is yet another painful memory to haunt me over the years. <laughs> It looks like we made it through that one. This area belongs to us now. It looks like we made it through that one. Yeah! Go crazy on it. I know you can do it. It looks like we made it through that one. It's time to attack! The enemy doesn't stand a chance against us! Yes. From this point on, we'll be here to assist you. Now, let's go take care of that archer first. I 
I know where we should press our attack. Now, we just need to move towards there. This is bad. Without me, there is no one to give orders to the archers. Archers, draw! Stop them, no matter the cost! One enemy we can't leave unchecked. Okay, leave it to me. Sorry. How did this happen? I thought I was stronger than this. I think it is safe to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. It looks like we made it through that one. You are doing an excellent job. How can I say this? I really need your help with something. Over there as well? Good! I'll destroy them as well! Chuan's feelings. I cannot allow him to kill Wang Zhu. I was unable to stop the enemy's attack. I can't show you any mercy. Soon Chuen has promised. Now Lord Liu Bei will probably be more than willing to lend me a strap. <laughs> Lord! Please, calm yourself. We have no intention 
of harming Lord Sun Chuen. What are you saying? We desire to form an alliance with you. Alliance? You must be crazy. I have no intention of joining up with a hated enemy. You are wrong, Master Sun Chuen. We are not proposing that you form an alliance with Lord Liu Biao. We propose an alliance with our Lord, Lord Liu Bei. Lord Liu Bei is currently standing in the way of Cao Cao's campaign south at Xinye, but the difference in our strengths is clear. Soon, we will no longer be able to stop Cao Cao from entering Jing province. And once Jing province falls, the next to feel the pressure of Cao Cao's might will inevitably be Yang province. In other words, you're saying that we have the same interests. Master Zhou Yu, you of all people, should understand who, at this moment, is the enemy you should be focusing on. Zhou Yu, it looks like you think there's something to what these people are saying. Unfortunately, there is some worth to their words. Cao Cao's strength continues to grow. In the near future, Sun Wu will be forced to decide whether to fight or surrender to him. If we wait until Cao Cao's forces are right at our doorstep, our options will be extremely limited. If that is the case, then we should make our preparations as soon as we can. I see. Well, if you agree, then I'll definitely think about it. I will give you my answer in a few days. Is that sufficient? Yes, Lord Sun Chuen. We will await your decision. Master Liu Bei, not only were you able to drive off Sun Chuen, but you were also able to put an end to this complicated situation. How can I possibly thank you? No, I cannot take all the credit for this. Without the fighting skill of Master Huang Zhu and the cleverness of our underlings, this could not have been accomplished. Still, I am glad to have been of aid. Master Liu Biao, they arbitrarily formed an alliance with Sun Quan without checking with us first. This is obviously a betrayal of our relations. Tsai Mao, leave! I will no longer hear your outbursts against Master Liu Bei. <sighs> Master Liu Bei, there is something I would like to request of you. Would you honor me by listening to me? Of course. If there's anything I can do, I will not hesitate. It has long troubled me, but I fear that I will soon no longer be able to fulfill my responsibilities regarding this land of Jing. Therefore, I wish for Master Liu Bei to succeed me in governing it. Uh, what? How could... Lord Liu Biao! You must not! You truly must not do this, Lord Liu Biao! Do you not already have a marvelous successor in the form of Lord Liu Zong? Liu Zong? There is Liu Qi as well. However, neither of my sons have the capacity to lead people. I cannot appoint either of them as my successor. Master Liu Bei is a man of excellent moral character. It is to him I would entrust this land of Jing. Lord Liu Biao thinks too highly of me. More than anything, it would be too unjust to steal the land from Masters Liu Qi and Liu Zong. Lord Liu Bei, I am certain that Lord Liu Biao 
has thought deeply upon this, but he has decided this for the people. Please be considerate of his feelings as well. Master Liu Biao, I promise to do everything I can to support your sons and Jing province. However, I beg you, please, do not force me at this time. How rare! Seeing a look like that on your face. From that look, I assume that you have not quite been able to convince Lord Liu Bei. So, you seem to have seen through it. Still, it's because Lord Liu Bei is exactly like this that people are drawn to him. That is true. It just means that it is our role to take all that into account as we plan for what's to come. Now, if Lord Liu Bei accepts the request of Lord Liu Biao, then we will have a foundation equivalent to Sun Chuen, and we will have accomplished your land of three parts. However, if the central figure, Lord Liu Bei, is unwilling to accept, then... We will have to think of some other way, but... R report We've received word that Cao Cao has begun to march, and his goal is Xinye. His numbers are much higher than ours. So it's come. We'll have to discuss Lord Liu Biao later. Right. If we allow them to surround us, we will be overcome in an instant. Let us split our force into two. Shu Shu, I'd like you to command one of them. I understand. I will not allow Lord Liu Bei's path forward to end here. If the battle drags on, we will be at a disadvantage. Divide into two units and eliminate the enemy quickly. Under Head to Wind Castle. I will leave the defense of Xinye to you. Shu Shu. That was amazing. Understood. What? I must retreat. I suppose I wasn't ready to face this particular trial. It looks like we made it through that one. No one knows your capability. You must have angered the heavens to face me in battle. Ah. Impressive intensity. Stop me if you can! Let's go! 
There are units in need of our assistance. Um, I must think of something. Time to show you my skills. single enemy through. to say this enemy has learned the importance of strategy. It looks like we made it through that one. Whoa! What an amazing fighter! Zhou Fei has diverted the enemy's attention but is currently struggling. Shu Shu. Could I ask that you head over to assist him? The enemy is quite capable. We have no choice but to fall back for now. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll remember this. It looks like we made it through that one. Now 
is our chance to take the enemy camp. Everybody, prepare to move out. <laughs> them significantly. Victory should have been ours. It looks like we made it through that one. No one knows your capability. Now is the time to make a move. We must call upon all the might at our disposal. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. So you mean to capture Shu Chung while the backs are turned? Listen, men. I need reinforcements sent to Yeshui Gate immediately. March on the enemy! Forward! Mission is not yet extinguished. All right. Looks like Xin Ye should be safe for now. Here we are. Sometimes I don't know what we'd do without you. <sighs> we were somehow able to hold. Zhuge Liang, how were the damages to Xin Ye? Considering the number of enemy troops, they were at an absolute minimum. But they weren't trivial, right? So even with reinforcements from Lord Liu Biao, we probably won't be able to hold back the next attack. Right. Unfortunately, if we are unable to convince Lord Liu Bei, we must consider abandoning Xin Ye. A way to get Lord Liu Bei to take over Jing province? Quite difficult. Lord Liu Bei refused even the direct request of Lord Liu Biao. He said that more than anything, it would be too unjust to steal the land from Masters Liu Qi and Liu Tsong. If both Master Liu Qi and Master Liu Song were to refuse to inherit, then it would no longer be unjust for Lord Liu Bei to inherit. But this is very unlikely. There is one other possibility. If both Master Liu Qi and Master Liu Song were unable to inherit, Zhuge Liang, what do you mean by that? Xu Xu, I am still merely talking about possibilities. Possibilities? But even if, 
the situation that you described does occur, do you really think that Lord Liu Bei would be willing to govern Jing province? Liu Biao decides to place trust in Liu Bei after witnessing him brilliantly settle a dispute with Sun Xuan. He even proposes that Liu Bei inherit rule over Jing province in place of his own son. However, Liu Bei did not feel it was right to replace Liu Biao's son as the next ruler of Jing province. No matter how much Zhuge Liang pleaded, Liu Bei was resolute in his decision. Meanwhile, the war with the Cao Cao army was ready to begin at any moment. With the aim of negotiating with Sun's Wu, Zhuge Liang sets off for Xinye. Xu Xu, who had been left in charge of handling any further matters, began to hear disturbing rumors. So in the end, we aren't able to enter Xiangyang? Even after we rushed to gather everything? That's right. They wouldn't even tell us why. Ever since Lord Liu Biao's condition has gotten worse, it's like Xiangyang is being ruled by Lord Tsai Mao. Come to think of it, I even heard that when Lord Liu Qi came to visit, he was turned away at the gate. That's not right. Even if he does support Lord Liu Tsong, I feel sorry for Lord Liu Qi. And Lord Liu Qi and Lord Liu Tsong used to be such friends when they were younger. It's changed since Lord Tsai Mao came between them. I hear nowadays, they don't even talk to each other. Oh, Lord Shu Shu, did you require something? Sorry to trouble you all of a sudden. Is it true you weren't allowed into Xiangyang? That's right. We heard they were having a feast to celebrate the Great Harvest. So we thought we'd be able to make some money selling them some goods. But we were chased off by Lord Tsai Mao at the gate. Is that so? May I ask you one more thing? Other than you, can you tell me of any merchants who have been in and out of Xiangyang lately? Aye, if that's what you want, then let me show you to them. Hmm. This is strange. A feast? Large enough to invite the nobles to, and they don't need supplies from the merchants? Even Lord Liu Bei is participating. I know Lord Zhao Yun is there guarding him, but... I have a really bad feeling about this. Yes, I was indeed tasked with providing the food. It was quite difficult this time. I had to provide for both the invited guests and their guards separately. What was that? Separately? Yes, they were hosted in different areas. I was told to set up both inside and out. They said they didn't want to get too noisy near where Lord Liu Biao was resting. The castle is not that small. Besides, with Lord Liu Biao currently ill, Lord Sai Mao is just being too unreasonable. Is that so? Thank you. I will repay this kindness at a later date. Hey, Shu Shu, what is the emergency? I believe that Lord Liu Bei is in trouble. I just received confirmation from the merchant that I just talked to. We need to head to Shengyang immediately. What? You believe Lord Liu Biao will endanger brother? 
No, I believe this banquet was planned by Tsai Mao alone. Using the fact that Lord Liu Biao is ill, I believe it was to allow him to lure Lord Liu Bei into his reach. Tsai Mao is trying to allow Liu Tsong to take control of Jing province. After hearing what Lord Liu Biao said the other day, he is trying to rid himself of possible threats by killing Lord Liu Bei. Damn! How dare they try to harm brothers when we're not around! Let's hurry! It is likely that Master Zhao Yun has been separated from Lord Liu Bei. We must find Lord Liu Bei at once! We must protect Lord Liu Bei from Tsai Mao's assassins. Quickly gather information and set out on a rescue mission. You've allowed Liu Bei to escape? And you call yourselves warriors of Xing province? It is because you are warriors of Jing province that I cannot forgive such treachery. Out of the way! I will not allow Lord Liu Bei to be killed! I use all the knowledge at my disposal to stop your advance. information regarding the whereabouts of Lord Liu Bei. It looks like we made it through that one. Fine work! You're not too shabby! Just as I had feared. If things continue as they are, we will be surrounded by Tsai Mao's men. Mm. <laughs> 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 you sure 
know how to fight. to go easy on people. Therefore, I'm not sure you're going to make it out of this unscathed. Ah, spare me my life, I beg you. Hey, wait, I bet you'd like to hear some information about Liu Bei, huh? You should have just spoken up from the get-go. Now then, tell me what you know about brother, and quick! It looks like we made it through that one. On some. Now I see. So you were the one who betrayed Sai Mao. time we met was when we were disciples of Sima Hui, but now's not the time for catching up. We need to help Lord Liu Bei. Did you think us unprepared? Now! Everyone attack! It looks like we made it through that one. Xiao Yun, you've acted just as we've expected. And now I will perform my duty and steal you from Yu Bei's side. The ambush! Everybody, we must hurry to meet their attack. I think this place is my duty. I will never allow any intruder to prevail! I couldn't 
stop them. I failed to match their strength. I wanted to at least defend this place. I can't show you any mercy. They're too strong. I'm not able to stop them. It looks like we made it through that one. like the mission went well. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. We'll pick this up again later. I have to pull back for now. Looks like we made it through that one. You certainly know how to flee, don't you? Do me a favor, just dial. How dare you defy my benevolence? I will never bow to the likes of you. I can't show you any mercy. Shoo shoo. Well met. My life is saved thanks to you. I'm a little bit. Safety is what matters most. I'm simply glad I made it in time. I'm ready. For now, don't think you've won. This isn't good. I can't show you any mercy. It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense. It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! This should be interesting!
will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! <laughs> This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Reporting! Leo Bay's ship has launched. It will be impossible to track him now. Damn it! We walked right into that one. Lord Liu Bei, are you okay? Ah, Zhuge Liang. You've returned from Jian Ye. As you can see, I'm fine. Master Shu Shu was able to see the trap in time. I never expected Sai Mao to make such a bold play. It just goes to show how strong Lord Liu Bei's presence has become in Jing province. Zhuge Liang, with such a wolf hidden here, we need to move quickly. So, how did the talks with Ugo? No problem at all. However, for a time, we need to tighten our defenses and focus on gathering information. Liang, what do you mean? Report! Lord Liu Biao is said to have passed away at Xiongyang. Lord Liu Biao? Uh, how could this be? I still have not been able to repay all that he has done for me. This is not good. Cao Cao sure to march soon. So, do you know who was selected to succeed him? That since there was no one officially named, the retainers are split into two camps, for Lord Liu Qi and Lord Liu Tsong. I am told there have been clashes across the land. What? Fighting within the family? We must stop them as soon as possible. No. We should not get involved in this. Under cover of this confusion, there is a good chance that Cao Cao will start to march. But I cannot just stand by and watch the sons of my benefactor fight. I understand how you are feeling. However, we are the only ones left who can protect Jing province. Understood. Then let us focus on defending Xinye. That is perhaps the only thing I can do to repay Lord Liu Biao. Wait. Zhuge Liang, are, are you? Zhuge Liang, do you have a moment? I want to confirm your ideas. Fine, not a problem. You said that we needed to prepare for Cao Cao's attack. However, I think a little differently. If we are trying to protect Jing province, the priority would be to halt the uprising here. Given that, the reason you choose to ignore it is because you are waiting for Master Liu Qi to fall. Am I wrong? No. If Master Liu Qi is removed, his retainers will all flock to Lord Liu Bei and ask him to avenge them. We will accept their appeal, defeat Master Liu Tsong, and gain control of Jing province. 
Your plan makes a lot of sense. However, Lord Liu Bei is sure to mourn the fact that he let Master Liu Qi die. This may cause emotional problems to linger. Ugh. Forgive me. I didn't mean to object to your plan. No. Please continue. It sounds like you have a different thought in mind. I believe that to Lord Liu Bei, the best would be if Master Liu Qi and Master Liu Song were to directly hand over control of Jing province. In order for that to happen, they must first feel indebted to him. Do you have some way to make this happen? I hear that Masters Liu Song and Liu Qi used to be rather close. If Lord Liu Bei were to bring them together and repair their relationship, it might happen. A plan truly typical of you. I believe it is worth trying. Let us talk to Lord Liu Bei. Thank you. I will prove myself worthy of your trust. For the sake of Lord Liu Bei, I must stop this dispute. I shall approach Master Liu Song and urge that he conclude a truce with Master Liu Qi. Mm. Um, I must think of something. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Despite his old age. So, they've even got warriors like him in Jing Province, have they? Losing that officer over a dispute like this would be a pity indeed. If only there was some way to make them our ally. Looks like we made it through that one. No way! What is the meaning of this written directive? You mean to detain Master Liu Tsong? Hey! What are you doing with that? That's an important document trusted to me by Master Tsai Mao. Give it back! Great 
strength. I'm pulling back for now. I am thankful for your assistance. This document contains proof of Tsai Mao's evil deeds. I shall be careful. So, this is a written directive with orders to detain Master Yu Song. Possessing this should prove to be useful. I shall pass it on to Master Yu Chi. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. to rescue you, under orders of your brother Liu Qi. Oh, so brother has sent you. I am most grateful. Now then, let us hurry and make our escape. Gah! Liu Bei's men are such a nuisance! I shall not let those dogs prevent me from completing my plan! The dispute between Master Liu Song and Master Liu Qi was a result of Tsai Mao's machinations. We must mercy. defeat him and ensure that those two make amends. God, my plan to seize Jing Province is ruined! Those curs! If only Liu Bei had never come! It appears we have eliminated the root of this disturbance. Now, 
We just need to ensure that Master Liu Tsong and Master Liu Qi make amends. It's bad as you can see. Could you please lend me a hand? Lord Liu Bei, how can I ever repay you? Thanks to you, my brother and I have been able to become close once again. No. I am only glad I could be of some aid to you. Particularly now, when we must join together to protect all of Jing Province. Lord Liu Bei, with regards to that, I have a request. I believe my father also once said this. But will you not accept control of Jing Province? Master Liu Qi, what are you saying? How could someone such as me take your place? We brothers were unable to solve our problems by ourselves. Because of us, the seeds of war had already spread throughout Jing Province. I do not believe we are worthy to succeed our father. My brother and I, Believe that you will surely protect our Jing province. Please, accept our request. Both of you? To go this far? Then I understand. I will accept. I, Liu Bei, will do my very best for the land of Jing. Excellent. Lord Liu Bei has finally made the decision to govern Jing province. Now, we can move forward with your land of three parts. Yes, very well done. Jing province is becoming enshrouded in the overwhelming flames of war. I beg you all to lend me your aid. Together we will overcome this terrible menace of Cao Cao and successfully defend this verdant land! <laughs> this should allow us to somehow oppose the strength of Cao Cao. It is fortunate we were able to finish before the start of the major southern campaign. Shushu, you were the one that made this possible. It is I who offer you my thanks. Huh? Only after being begged by both Lord Liu Qi and Lord Liu Tsong did Master Liu Bei finally agree to accept control of Jing province. He would not yield to the guidance of logic. It was only through a passionate appeal that Master Liu Bei was finally convinced. Without your plan, Lord Liu Bei would not have been able to obtain this land of Jin. Wait, one moment. It was your plan in the first place to get Lord Liu Bei to take control of Jing. I merely lent a hand to that. Zhugu Liang, will you not even allow me to be humble regarding this issue? Understood, and I will be plain. I was able to pull this up. That's why right now, allow me this time to revel in my success.
The dispute over who would succeed Liu Biao at Jing province, which had now been divided into two parts, had been settled by Xu Xu and his allies. Liu Qi and Liu Cong are deeply grateful to Liu Bei that their brotherly bond could remain intact. The brothers plead that the fact Liu Bei feels that way is precisely the reason he should be the one to inherit Qing province. After hearing their heartfelt pleas, Liu Bei finally determines his resolve. At last, with Liu Bei in Jing province and Sun Xuan in Yang province, they were poised to oppose Cao Cao. Liu Bei and his allies headed for Jianye to rendezvous with the Sun Xuan army. The assault on Cao Cao's massive force was imminent. For Xu Xu, it was a decisive battle to determine whether he could both support his friend's strategy as well as repay his ruler's kindness. Though you have been bolstered by the troops of Jing province, you clearly are still not as strong as Cao Cao. Do you really think an attack from this Jian Ye will be successful? The enemy is definitely strong. However, Zhuge Liang and others have made numerous plans against this day. There is without a doubt a chance for victory. I guess I must believe you for now. I will leave the strategies for this to Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. We are depending on you. First, we are to build a bridgehead from Jianye. Step by step, we advance. Hmm, this is going to be difficult. If we take too much time, we will be at a disadvantage. To reach Xu Chung, we must save as many troops as possible while winning. Ah, for that as well, let us ensure that Zhuge Liang's plan succeeds. Xu Xu, please go around to everyone and lend a hand if there are any problems. The leadership of this alliance will depend on the results of this battle. I will have to ensure that everything goes smoothly for Lord Liu Bei to succeed. Conquering Paul Fei shall serve as the initial strike of our counterattack against Cao Cao. Everyone do everything you can to assist Sun Quan's army. We have a strategy contrived by Zhuge Liang. Unless something drastic happens, we should be able to capture Parfait. I'm ready. See? 